welcome back to my channel. My name is Archana and if you are new to my channel, definitely subscribe and also hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you get notifications for all my future videos. I'm really really excited for today's video because it's the tutorial for Halloween and that too for kids. So recently my sister told me that she had to dress up the kids early in the morning last year for Halloween and she had to send them to school. She has two kids and both of them are young and it's not easy when you have to wake them up early in the morning and get them ready for such a theme party. So I thought why not do a quick and efficient Halloween makeup tutorial which can be done within minutes. So in this video I'm going to show you a few Halloween makeup tips for kids so that you can quickly and efficiently get them ready early in the morning and send them and you don't even need to have any specific costumes for these things. So let's get right into it. So I'm just taking this black eye pencil from Pack Cosmetics. You can take any black eye pencil, you can take an eyeliner, you can take gel liner. So I'm just going to make lines. You don't need to be perfect with this. And then once that is done, I'm just going to draw a semicircle where all the lines are joined. And then I'm going to make curved lines between two lines and I'm going to join these lines. I'm going to do two rows. You can actually avoid the eye area if you want and you can just do the line from the head till the eyebrow and from the corner of the eye till the nose and you don't really have to do it on the eye but uh, I will still go ahead and do it because I want to show you how this looks. So this already looks like a web, you can leave it at this but I will go ahead and use this white pencil because I have a white pencil at hand and I'm just going to make the same lines which we made with the black pencil. This gives the web a really really good finish and it looks like a real web on the face. If you don't have a white pencil, you can use a white powder and you can use a q-tip. You can wet it and you can just go on the outside of the black lines. It won't stay for a long time but it will give it some dimension. So you can take an eyeliner, you can take gel liner, gel liner will be the best or long staying pencil will be the best because this is to be done on kids and the chances of smudging are much more than on an adult and since it's going to cover most of the face, I would advise you to use a long stay pencil or a gel liner to do this and since these products are used in our eyes, these will mostly be safe on a lot of kids. So I would advise you to check all these products which you're going to use on them beforehand. You can test it, patch test it the way we adults do a patch test and you can just make sure that this is not going to cause any reaction on your kid's face. So if you have not used long stay pencils or gel eyeliners, I would just recommend you to go over that side of the face with a little bit of powder to set everything in place. You don't need to worry, the intensity of the black might reduce a little bit, but that powder, sorry, that powder will go away after some time, but this uh, pencil will be set and it will not smudge for a longer period of time. So you can leave it at this half face like this, half face empty, you can cover the entire face like this. Or you can use insects like these. My older nephew is really fond of collecting animals, insects. So these are two of them from his collection. They have broken a little bit, they have bent a little bit, but it will still work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the back of this insect and I'm going to apply my eyeliner all over the back. So I'm using my cake eyeliner today for this and uh, this is an eyeliner from Krylin. It comes in a pan and it's not waterproof. So you can use a product called Duraline from Inglot. It's a little expensive if you want to just buy it for this. I would advise not to. But if you already have that product or if you want to buy it for your regular makeup, uh, then you can use it for this. So I have just added some water because it gets activated with water because I'm not going out looking like this today. Uh, I'm just adding water. You can add Duraline if you have it because that will make it waterproof. 
or you can use gel liner or you can use your waterproof eyeliner or mascara and I am using a brush it's going to make the application on the insect very easy and quick because we don't want it to dry before it hits our face so I'm just going to make sure that it's not too wet and it's of a good consistency so that the color also comes out well on your face we can always fine tune it later once it's on it's on your face so before it dries ensure that it's completely covered so and just press the entire thing onto your face and hold on to it for a few seconds and just press the whole insect into your face and then there you have the impression and now I am just going to fine tune it a little bit using my eyeliner so that it really looks like a full proper insect so you can always change the angle of this insect you can create the web only on this portion and create an insect here you can create the web on half the face and an insect here you can create the web on the full face and let's just see how the insect looks on the web so i'm again coating this insect with the liner because it has dried off some on my face so if you don't have these insects you get a set of insects i don't remember the price I will put a link down in the description box which will take you to Amazon and there you can find a set of these insects. I had purchased it through Amazon and sent it to my nephews and uh, you can actually buy this even if you are buying it for a one time use because it's not crazy expensive. So do check out the description box down below for the link. Ooh, that can also work. You can have your whole face crawling of insects. You can go down your neck. I'll just show you with another insect. So the other one that I had shown you earlier, I'm just applying this black color behind the other insect now. And let's just see how that works. So if you keep the water a little less, water or the liquid a little less, then it will work beautifully. So I'm going to show you in this one. I think it was a little too wet the last time I put the insect on my face. So now this should work perfectly. Let me put it on my neck here and press it. So there. Yeah. Oh. You can fine tune it if you want to. You can have your whole face crawling of insects. I know it's disgusting, but like it's Halloween. There. See that? So you can do this, you can do this, you can do a combination of both. So that's a perfectly wonderful idea for a Halloween. And now I'm going to show you another one. So let me just remove my makeup. So now I'm back after removing the earlier insect and web makeup. So I'm just trying another thing which just struck me because I'm not very fond of using a full face of makeup products on kids. So I'm just using some moisturizer and I'm just dabbing it on to my face. I want to use things which are not harmful for the kids. So I'm just going down the neck a little bit. I'm not sure for how long this will stay but this is something that will definitely work for a shorter period of time. May not be for a full day at school but maybe if there is some trick-or-treating in your area 
you can definitely try this out and now I'm just applying some white powder on top of my face just like that I have some professional makeup watercolors but not everybody will have professional makeup colors like this so I just want to give you some options which you can use it will definitely make the dress a little messy so make sure that you cover the dress properly before you do this the powder is going to fall all over the dress my suggestion would be to avoid the lip area for the kids but if you want you can apply it on the lips as well so there are two reasons why I applied a lot of moisturizer underneath one is that the powder really sticks to the skin and it doesn't go off easily and the second reason is that the kids skin will stay moisturized and it will not go very very dry because we are using a lot of powder and then I'm just going to use some black kajal again and apply it around my eyes So the side where I used the cake liner is really really dark so I'm just going to apply this on the other side as well so that they look even and then just a little bit on the nose. Make two lines. You can avoid the lip area if you want to. I would advise you to avoid the lip area. So, like I said, you don't need to be perfect with the kids' makeup. And then just top it off with some powder. I'm using a brush here. So this is the look. The powder will stay on for some time. But if you want an alternative for base, you can use a white pencil. A kajal pencil, NYX makes a good white jumbo pencil. You can use it to save your time. You can also use a thinner pencil but then it will take you longer to cover the entire face and neck and on top of that you can apply the powder so that the pencil stays in place and then you can do the black with a gel liner. I will quickly show you how the look turns out when you use a white pencil and a powder. So you can see how much more effective this side looks than this side because powder is bound to go away. If it is for a very short period of time, you can still use powder and cream. But if you have a white pencil or if you can buy one, it will be great for this kind of look because this is something that looks much more intense and it will stay on for a long time. You have to top it off with some powder to set it in place but this you can see is much more effective so i hope you really enjoyed watching this halloween makeup tutorial for kids i sure did please leave a big thumbs up down below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please do click on the bell icon so you get notifications for all my future videos thank you so much for watching have a happy halloween and have fun creating these looks my personal favorite is the one with insects crawling all over the face and also to some extent the web. 
and in fact if the entire face is web and insects are crawling on it it will be much better so i will see you again soon with another cruelty free video thank you so much for watching have a great rest of your day bye